Whenever an update is released in Hypixel Skyblock, items change a lot and a lot of different items are released. And this makes some items that were once extremely good in the game to become obsolete or useless. So, in this video, I'll be going over some items that were at one point pretty good in the game, but then after an update they became obsolete or useless. The items in this video have become obsolete in the matter of very old updates to almost some of the most recent updates in the game, spanning only a few months of release. But before the video starts, make sure to subscribe if you do enjoy the content, or at least consider it. Also, if you want to join the under 10k gang, you're going to want to subscribe now, because we are only 1,000 subscribers from hitting 10k. So if you want to secure your spot as the under 10k gang, you're going to want to subscribe now. And back to the video. So the first item I will be going over is the Leaping Sword. So, the Leaping Sword used to be one of the best weapons in all of Hypixel Skyblock. Not the best, but one of the best, and it was a very good budget sword for many players. Even many big players like Technoblade even used it, cause for its price, it was extremely good. The reason the Leaping Sword was bad, and is still bad, is because the AOTD deflated in price, getting closer and closer to the Leaping Sword, while the Leaping Sword never changed in price. The reason for this is the LTD, more people did drags, which increased the supply, and less demand, which caused the sword to become cheaper. But, the way that you actually obtain a leaping sword is by crafting it with enchanted fermented spider eyes. The thing is, the supply for enchanted fermented spider eyes was increasing, just like most items, but the demand was increasing as well because they are used to actually get a load of alchemy XP. And when even when I got alchemy 50, I actually used them, which shows how big the demand is for it, which means the price didn't change that much, even be with in deflation and inflation, it still didn't change because the demand and the supply were still high, and this in turn affected the price of the Leaping Sword. Okay, so you can see that the match for a Leaping Sword costs about 2.2 million. But you can see that on the AH, a clean aspect of the dragons only goes for a bit under 3 million coins. Meaning, to get the best sword in the game, it only costs a bit over 800k. So there's almost no reason for you to actually use a Leaping Sword. The next item you're not going to want to get is the Endermite Pet. The reason the Endermite pet is really not good anymore is due to the inclusion of the new item known as the Combat Sack. The reason the Endermite pet is no longer useful and the reason the Combat Sack fixes this is because the Combat Sack can store up to 20,000 pearls. The main reason the Endermite pet is nowhere as good as the Combat Sack is because the Combat Sack's main ability is that it can store all these pearls and then sell them straight to the bazaar. This means you'll be able to get the same amount of coins from selling it to the bazaar that you would get from selling it with the Endermite pet. So even if you had an extremely high level Endermite pet and you were selling it for more coins than the bazaar, this is a very small difference, about 1.2 coins. So it's really not that worth it. And is it really worth the extra 1.2 coins to lose the ability to be leveling up a different pet? Because when you're using the combat sack, you don't take up a pet slot. So that pet that can be leveled up can be any other pet. And with the about 100,000 or a bit more combat XP per hour of grinding, this can add up and can level up a pet quite well. So. This is one of the biggest reasons that you shouldn't use the Endermite pet. The next item that you should probably not get is the Legendary Phoenix. The reason the Epic Phoenix is much much better than the Legendary Phoenix is mainly because the Legendary Phoenix is much more expensive than the Epic Phoenix, especially considering that the Epic Phoenix has almost the exact same abilities except two. We can see that these two abilities are Magic Bird and Eternal Coins. The Eternal Coins ability can be easily fixed or replaced 
with the use of a piggy bank or multiple. And for a different one, like say the magic bird ability, this can be easily replaced through the use of the mystical magic mushroom soup, which is in the mushroom collection and you can see it right here and it gives 200 minutes of flight and you can see that i have over 200 hours of flight so i don't think that the infinite flight will really be that useful on the phoenix pet even though the stats of the legendary phoenix's two other abilities are increased a little bit more in the legendary variant over the epic i do not think it's enough for it to actually be worth getting the legendary since the legendary costs so much more than the epic right now that at this point it is worth it to tier boost if you really want that extra damage. The next item that you should probably not get as it is no longer useful in the game is the flying fish pet. The flying fish pet was always a pretty bad pet to be honest but with the introduction of the dolphin pet it sealed its deal as a very useless pet. So when you look at this level 70 flying fish pet, you can see that there's two or three abilities, quick reel, waterbender, and deep sea diver. Waterbender is kind of useless, but quick reel and deep sea diver are pretty useful. Deep sea diver is thought to be the best, but it actually isn't that useful. The reason why deep sea diver isn't useful is that even when compared with the new uh, diver set abilities, it's still not as good as the dolphin pet. And then, if you also look at the quick reel ability, you can see that it increases fishing speed by 10.5%, which is pretty good, right? Then, if you compare this to my dolphin pet, level 61 by the way, so about nine levels under his you can see that i can get up to 25 percent chance so this means i can get over double the percent chance with just the dolphin pet as well as i can get way more sea creature chance up to 10 9 percent right now so it means that there's no reason for me to really use that ability when I can be using the dolphin pet which does all that and much much better. So unless you're going for a max pet score or something, I really don't know why you even own a flying fish pet. If you did enjoy this video, please consider subscribing because any support is always appreciated and a subscription goes a long way. Also. We're extremely close, as I said, to 10,000 subscribers. So make sure you sub now so you can get into the under 10k gang. And goodbye.